You're the ultimate chef, dude. I am. You're the ultimate chef, dude. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna eat your own sandwich that you made? Whoa. Let's try it. What? What the? Because I want to, you know what I'm saying, put y'all on some game with their French toast, baby. What? Okay? We got our chicken sausages thawing out right now. Okay? So, they're almost ready. And this is the key with fixing breakfast. I always tell people this all the time. Listen. Cook your eggs last. Your eggs are the fastest thing that's going to cook. Always cook them last. Okay? Period. I can't stand no cold eggs like ugh they get cold they get hard i don't like that okay period and it's just down there okay so let's go ahead and also preheat our oven to about 350. i always turn the oven on because especially with cooking um like french toast because when it does get off like the griddle and stuff i just try to kind of like throw it in the oven just so that it could just keep it warm and that's all not to cook it necessarily, but just to keep it warm. And actually put it on 300 so that it's not overly cooking it. So what I have today is I'm going to make French toast bread with, French toast, I'm sorry, with potato bread. This bread, this brand of bread is so good, y'all. It's so amazing, like seriously. Um, I'm going to actually put the mixture in here. You got to get you like a nice little flat pan. And I'm going to teach y'all the trick with French toast. Like I didn't always know this trick. And I had to learn it. So now I'm going to share it with y'all. Okay, baby? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So also, let's go ahead and get the stuff that we need. We need pure vanilla extract. Look at my seasoning cleansing, y'all. I got to organize it and get it together. But it's going to come together. And when it do, boom, yeah. All right, period. So let me look for my uh, cinnamon, y'all. Goodness gracious, I got so much. Oh, here we go. Cinnamon. And last but not least, I got all the stuff that I need. Period. So you have vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. And just a tiny little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. I always use Himalayan salt because it's way healthier for me. Okay, period. So this is what we're about to get into. We're about to do our mixture here. So we're going to open up these eggs, baby. And I don't really like my French toast, like, super eggy or whatever. Um, and Or super, like, you know, yolkish. Like, I don't really like that. Um, but just be careful with it. So you can always add like one or two eggs depending on how many people you're making it for. Um, and also like, you know what I'm saying, how eggy you like yours. But I don't like that. When I see like the egg actually like coming up through the bread, I don't like that. I like mine just real, real simple like, okay? So what you wanna do is first you wanna crack that egg open, baby. Period. And then, we're gonna get our whisk. Let's see here. Let me get this out. Boom. So you wanna get that 
We're also gonna get a little bit of milk. And I like to do mine half and half. So I like to do a little bit of milk and a little bit of cream, honey period. So just a tad bit of milk, half and half, okay? And mind you, this stuff is going off of my head, y'all, so don't clock me on the measurements. I'd say, if you don't wanna use cream, then use just like a whole cup of milk. Really, the milk only matters about how much, how much you plan on making. So, that's all, really. You gotta add that cream in there. I love cream. Cream is actually like a secret ingredient for a lot of stuff that I be using, or the, a lot of stuff that I cook. So, boom, bam, bam, bam. Then, you wanna add in your vanilla. Probably like a little teaspoon of that. Then you wanna add in your cinnamon. Sprinkle it over. Yes, baby. Then you wanna add in your nutmeg. You don't wanna to do too much nutmeg because nutmeg is very, very powerful and you don't want it to overpower everything and all the other ingredients. So you wanna just sprinkle it very lightly. One, two, three, boom. And then add in just a tiny, tiny bit of salt, honey, period. And sprinkle it. Cause you want that sweet, but salty flavor. I love that flavor. And then you wanna whisk, whisk, and mix, and mix, and mix, and mix, and mix, and mix, and mix. And that's what you wanna do, period. Now, some people, they might add, sometimes I do do this though, sometimes I add in um, a little bit of sugar too, just a little bit, not too much. You don't have to add in a whole bunch, just to get the flavors going, just to get that sweetness kicking, just a little bit. See, just a little bit, that's it, that's all you need. Okay, so you wanna mix that. Okay, and boom, now you have your mixture, okay? So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna turn on this grill right here. We're gonna turn this on, heat this grill up, baby. And that's just that on there. You wanna get that going. And also you wanna put some butter at the bottom of the griddle. Um, you can use this in a pan. You can use this. You can do. You can cook your uh, what you call it in a pan or in a on a griddle, like whatever the case may be. We got some butter left over from when I was cooking the other day, so we just gonna put that on there, like so. And I'll just set on that. That mixture is gonna be so so good, y'all. Period. starting to melt on top of that griddle and what I also like to use I need to get another one some more of these those little brushes where you like spray everything out on it that works really good when you're trying to spray your butter baggy oh I found it boom right here so when that starts to melt you want to Spread this butter all over evenly. Oops. All over evenly. Okay. And griddles are so convenient because you can just be able to just put multiple on there at one time, honey. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Now that our butter is spread over, Across the pan. Put this down right here. All right, while that's also cooking too, y'all know I had to bring out my red pans, but that'll play back. But while that's also cooking too, you wanna go ahead and get started on our chicken sausage. Put a little bit of oil at the bottom. You don't have to season chicken sausage, chicken sausage. Has its own flavors, own seasonings. 
So it's really good. Very good lean meat. Our chicken sausage is thawed out. So we're going to dump that little water out there like they bag them. And then we're gonna let this chicken sausage do what it do. We're gonna spread that oil all across that pan like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put these chicken sausages in there. We're gonna drop them like it's hot, baby, because they is hot now. Don't be playing with it. Ooh, yes. I love chicken sausage, y'all. Chicken sausage is amazing. If y'all never tasted chicken sausage, y'all need to get into it. ASAP. So good. So flavorful, full of flavor. And healthy. Alright. Now we got that going, actually. What you want to do when you're cooking French toast is you want to always bring your mixture and everything closest to you so that you know like you're not you're not over soaking it like I can't stand no over soaked French toast and you got you got to be quick you got to be quick with it so let's get our spatulas ready just you know knock things all out at once period so with that being said we want to go ahead while that's cooking and that's warming up let's go ahead and crack open our eggs for our scrambled eggs honey period i'm gonna do four eggs today and i'm gonna show y'all my secret trick on how to make my eggs there's three and that's four. Dang it, I almost got it. It almost is perfect. I got just a little tiny shell in it. I can't stand when I do that. You know somebody eggs who I really like? I really always like, you know, used to be like, I love Waffle House eggs. And I used to kind of like study them a little bit. So and study like the taste of it. And I love it. So, boom. I figured out a way how to finesse it and kind of make it into my own recipe. All right, so the pan for this French toast, it's ready. Turn it down just a tad bit. And what we're going to do is quick and easy. Quick and easy. Now pay attention. Dip it in your mixture. One, two, quick. One, two, quick. You don't have to drench your bread in the mixture. You don't have to do that. Just one, two, quick. One, two, quick. Boom. You see that? Period. Stop playing with it. One, two. It don't got to be soggy, all of that. Can't stand no soggy fresh toast. Like, ugh. One, two, huh, one, two. You want to even out that heat on there too. One, two, quick, one, two. One, two. 
quick. One, two. Boom! Now that we got that going, We got our spatula. You gotta pay real close attention to your fresh toast because fresh toast, they tend to cook real quick, okay? And it'll start getting brown real quick. Now our sausage is cooking. Chicken sausage. We're gonna flip these. I like mine crispy though. So, you know, to turn up the heat a bit on those. Now you gotta wash that fresh toast, because that fresh toast will try to do a fast one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see that thing trying to turn. Watch it real quick while we're doing that. There's only two ingredients that I use in my eggs. I'm sorry, I lied. There's three ingredients that I use in my eggs. Take a little bit of Laurie's seasoning salt, sprinkle it over. That's it. Take a little bit of pepper, sprinkle it over. You can add garlic and stuff. Some people like that. And my secret ingredient is I add cream. I don't use milk. Mm. Yes, child. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't do too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to get a real good whisk, honey, you do that thing with a fork. Mix that thing over the fork, baby. And you got a good mix. Okay. Cream just does something to them eggs. Like, it just makes them more, like, fluffier or something, child. I don't even know. All right, here we go. We ready to flip our French toast. Woo! Woo, baby! Good thing coming out perfecto. Ooh. Ooh. You ain't never seen no French toast like that. Yes. Y'all, I love cooking. Especially when stuff come out right. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, wait a minute now. You're gonna pack those. Make sure they good. Remember, you gotta wash that heat. You gotta wash that heat, especially on the French toast. Potato bread, I definitely recommend when you are cooking French toast, okay? Let me hear you. So, the sausages are cooking. We've got our egg mixture already ready. Y'all, this is simple, like, this is simple stuff. We're gonna leave that out because I'm gonna show you all the tricks for that. Okay. Let me go ahead and put this in there too. Actually, I might not even use the oven since I'm using the griddle today and I can just turn it on low. But you gotta make sure you watch them French toast because they will try to pull a bad one real good. And we don't want that, honey. Because it can go either real bad or real good with French toast. So. It's looking good. It's a nice golden brown cover color, I'm sorry. It's a nice crisp on those edges. Like, oh, that bad man is nice. A lot of people say, I made something and it was like, why you put so much salt? Like, honestly, it's crazy. Like, when I be seasoning my stuff, it might look like a lot, but it really do not be a lot. It, my food don't ever be like salty. It always ends up being like the right amount. It's crazy, but it do. So, hey. Okay. Add whatever you feel is comfortable. Just keep on turning those sausages. Get a nice crisp to them. 
And I, I like mine, I like my, my, my chicken sauce just to be like brown. Honey. I like it to be like, you know, like let it let it look like it got cooked. You feel what I'm saying? Be what I'm saying. Let's check those five. Those still cooking. Just a tad. Might need to turn it up just a tad bit more. Our sausages are almost done. Our French toast is almost done. Eggs don't taste nothing but a hot second, baby. Period. And I'm always cleaning up as I go. Always, always, always. Okay, so with that, let's be prepared for our French toast. We want to go ahead and grab our maple syrup. Love a maple syrup, honey. Um, we also want to grab our, where is it, where is it? Oh, here it is. Our powdered sugar. Love powdered sugar. And that's just that on that. Okay, check on her. Yep. Perfect. So we're going to actually turn these on low now. Ooh! I love it. We're going to turn those on low. And we're going to let that do the thing right there like that. And we're going to put these sausages again. It's getting hot in here. How y'all like y'all sausage to be cooked? I like mine crispy, honey. Bacon too, like turkey bacon and stuff. Love it for it to be crispy. Gotta be crispy. All right. Now, got to go in for the big kill, period. And we're gonna cook our eggs, period. We got that on there. Today I'm doing unsalted butter for our eggs. Now, one thing also too about eggs is like, what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure that that pan is buttered up. That's also another key to having good eggs, to making good eggs. You gotta make sure that that pan is buttered up all the way around. All the way around. Or else it'll mess up. And them eggs won't come out right. I remember back in the day, like, when I was younger, I didn't know how to cook as good, so I never knew that about eggs. My eggs always used to stick to the pan and all type of stuff. Then I learned, like, oh, because you got to butter that thing on up. All right, that's enough butter. I'll put that in there with some sausages. Now, I'm going to turn up the heat on it. Put those eggs in there. Ooh, baby. Don't say nothing to me. But next, what we want to do is grab a little ramekin, put a little butter on, put a little butter in it. Right? Because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Take that butter, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Watch those eggs now too. Watch those eggs. Okay. Now, would you like a sandwich or would you like your French toast to be cut? Huh? You talking about a sandwich and French toast? Yeah. Mmm, I want a sandwich. You want a sandwich? Okay, we're gonna give you a sandwich. There's my fork. Always watch for the egg when it when the egg starts to get like you see that little like yellow poofy line around, that means it's my it's about time to start scrambling it up. So I'm gonna wait till it 
creates that little line a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. But that's something too that you have to watch closely to too. Is those eggs. I don't want no overcooked hard eggs. Unless you like your eggs over hard. And that's just on you. Ooh! Okay. This what we doing. Huh. So now they're starting to mix up. But see my eggs, they're not sticking to the pan. It's all coming up like, all because you gotta put that butter up on the pan. You gotta butter the whole pan. Now I learned this from Waffle House. When it's like almost like your eggs is gonna be like cooked all the way, you gotta go. If you like cheese in your eggs, that's when you add the cheese. You add the cheese in the middle of while the, while the yolk is like setting and starting to form. Oh my God, I just need to hurry up and open. Okay, this don't wanna open. Like that, we're gonna cut this baby in half. I love always, I always cut like sandwiches and stuff triangular, like from the corner. It just gives it a, a different type of taste. I don't know, like y'all ever heard that? Like the way you cut your sandwich? Like if you just cut it straight down the middle, I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Baby, you don't know what this is right here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna put some of our melted butter. This is unsalted butter though. But just to put it on top of that French toast, drizzle it like that. Okay. Drizzle it on top of there like that. Period. We're gonna take our a little bit of powdered sugar. Just to give it a nice good old sweetened, old-fashioned French toast taste. And we're gonna 
sprinkle it a little bit. Ooh! I might have to do the money in Okay, there we go. Ooh! It's nice right there. It's nice right there. All right. You know, I always got to be pretty with my stuff, y'all, so I got to sit up like that <laughs> so y'all can see it. And then, if you want a little side of a syrup, then that's coming right up. Maple syrup, that is, ladies and gentlemen. Maple syrup it is. Maple syrup for the win. And you can heat it up if you like it nasty. <laughs> okay, period. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, period. And boom, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. A French toast breakfast sandwich with scrambled eggs with cheese and chicken sausage. Y'all enjoy that now. And y'all use my recipe for that cinnamon toast now. And y'all tell me how y'all like it. Go ahead and eat that up right now. Cause I know you want to. You want one more look at the sandwich for y'all, cause y'all might not understand how crazy this looks. Y'all don't understand it. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video now. Yeah, and try these recipes now. And we gonna keep hitting y'all with the consistent uploads. Love you guys. Love y'all.